people, my people. How's life? Yeah, I'm talking to you. How's life? You're drinking lots of good stuff. I know I am. And the drinking good stuff continues tonight into Archie Rose's Distiller's Strength Gin. That's the one that's appearing right there with the nice photograph. Um, not quite a navy. Navies are generally around 57. I have sampled a bit before in glass. I'll add a little bit more into this. Good gin like this, just never have enough. It's some other. So let's put the cork back in. Let's go for the sound of happiness. Right up close to a mic. I'm actually using a mic these days. I'm getting all technical. So that's the sound of happiness. Smell of happiness says this is a nice dry gin. Navies tend to be, um, and, and the, the, thereabouts tend to be dry because according to my friend at um, Ben at Brogan's Way, basically people make a really nice standard gin proof. Oh, this is really good. We should turn, turn it into a navy. That's what we should do. We just whack up the alcohol a bit more. Whack back up the alcohol, having cut it by half or more. Let's go and cut it down a bit. And whack it back up. That's what they do. So that's the reason why navies tend to be dry. So glass. Grizz, what felt the series, second name drop tonight. I might do half many. In fact, comment and tell me how many names I drop with it at two, so that's your freebie. Yeah. Um, not a lot happening in this one. I'm gonna put put my professors on and my professors will tell me oh, that's nice, I should drop up their address. Um Fresh new New South Wales pears, rose, elderflower, pears, juniper, and honey direct from local beehives. So there are actually urban beehives in Sydney. So There's no mistaking this is well above proof. There's a very nice burn there. Um, yeah, I can taste the honey. Um, elderflower, mm -mm, more likely. Yep. Oh. Must admit, they're more likely there, but at 52%, 52.4%, I haven't for good, but if we get the four, um, this is pretty solid overwhelmed by the burn of the alcohol. So I'm going to tip the remainder of this into my nice glass with two ice cubes, and we'll see what happens once I chill this baby down. Um, now, if I sound a bit snuffly, um, it is because I have it's no fault, no fault with your speakers or my microphone. I'm snuffly because um, children, God bless them. Uh, she has viruses, and I am um, a parent of uh, three kids. I've got an almost 13 year old, and I've got a pair of twins that turn eight at the end of March. So, yeah, great hair. That's the reason why I went great. I mean, I think I look fantastic for a 35 year old, don't you? Yeah, okay. Um, so, I'm going to chill this baby down, see if we can find the apples and alpha flower in here. No. So, the burn dominates. Not complaining about that. Um, having had a virus that put me in bed on um, today's. This has been recorded on Thursday, March 9. So, Wednesday, March 8, I basically spent in bed. Because um, my kids are very affectionate little darlings and they spit off virus. <laughs> So I spent yesterday not short certain of whether I'd been hit by a, um, a bus that, um, or a large uh, flying bovine had had a, um, how should we say, an accident above me um, and well and truly offloaded. <laughs> I just felt like shit. But just quietly. Um, so anyway, I'm going to mix this with uh, Fever Tree Mediterranean. And let's see how we go. Thin it out with something that we know will bring out the citrus in it. So let's see how this this works. Oh, yeah. 
you know, as my good friend Matt at um, Jindu um, said, the only thing that would be really much better than this would actually be a chinchello. Hi, Matt. Looking forward to seeing you in a week or two. Um, Sorry, the 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 IQ is trying to to wire up, and you know, what you're not hearing is the middle of a whole lot of kickstarting, <laughs> happening. Um, you're not hearing that because that's happening up here. Okay, Juniper. Yep. No trouble. Um, there's a honey running, um, running the willow wisp around the back of my pallet, so it's it's saying hi and then being already coy and ducking away. It's like an errant mouse. The honey's there and it's it's out of the corner of your eye on my taste buds. If that's just not totally trashing your head, um, I can almost taste it and not. Um, so it's there, but it's not really going up and saying hi. How are you? Not like my youngest who walks up to the strangers people and says, Hi, how are you? Um, what is your name? And I'm going, Oh, for God's sake. Um, so the honey's not doing that. Um, the juniper is. Um, the pear. No, okay. I'm going to add a bit more of this gin to this. See if I can actually flush out some flavours. But once they sterilise the last of the virus. Um, yeah, okay. If the pear's there, then they're crisp green ones, okay? None of this mushy, sweet, sickly garbage that's overripe. Um, they're rather crisp, uh, I think Peckham pears are the most crisp ones that you eat. Um, so, like the, um, the, the Singaporeans in Tanglin um, <clears throat> actually eat green mangoes, and um, the Malaysians are also known to eat green pears with a bit of salt. Um, <coughs> so, yeah. I mean, it's not like the East Indies gin where that, um, they actually go off and start using spices in their um, gin. Okay, so this is the fifty, the distiller's cut, um, distiller's strength. Sorry, <laughs> the distiller got well and truly cut whilst making the um, this distiller's gin. Um, and look, Aichi Rose um, is like almost it's the four pillars of New South Wales. Okay, um, they make lots of good stuff. Yeah, they do win. Truckloads Awards, it's almost a case of if Four Pillars is not winning them, then Archie Rose is. And this Distiller Strength Gin is a prime example as to why these guys are out there carrying the rewards off by the truckload. I'm having it as G&D. Um, mainly because it, it drops the burn enough for me to actually be able to really get my head around this gin. Um, I, now is the time in which I'm actually going to go and mention a distillery twice. And this gin actually could well be um, a description of my life. It's um, insanity <laughs> from Port Fillers. Port, Port, Port Fillers. Port Phillip Distillery. And I've only had one drink tonight. Um, and I haven't helped myself to Golden Fleas recently, so I'm not going. I'm not going to start chasing the. Um, you know, the whatever, I'm not going to start running around the backyard clucking. Okay, um, I'm going to go for Insanity from my friend Chris at Port Phillip Distillery. Um, and the best way to get hold of this baby is actually the gin dispensary in um, Bay Road, Bay Morris. It's not far from the um, Fossil Fields, Bay Morris Yacht Club, if you're looking for a pointer. So, yep, yeah, that's going to be next week. Thank you for watching. I hope you like the new theme song. Um, subscribe, follow. Please subscribe. It's almost getting embarrassing. I've got three times the number of followers in Instagram as what I do YouTube. So please 
follow, yes, but then just go and see my ugly head twice and hit subscribe on YouTube, please. Um, and this baby is going to be the gin for next week. And the week after, um, I shall be going off to um, a gin show and I shall be <laughs> doing the whole, just don't worry about the credit card, darling. Um, it'll take care of itself. We'll pay it off eventually. So I'll be basically doing what I did last November. I haven't finished the, all those gins yet because I have got... Um, that would be the last gin. The Tasmanian gin. So the, perhaps, yeah, the week after next. So that would be take us through to the end of March. Thank you for watching. I hope you're liking the new G-Wiz type special effects. I'm Odin, you're not. Um, and like I say, go out, be naughty because, well, someone died for your sins and you don't want that to go to waste. But also, above all, don't drink... Life is too short to drink bad booze, do the <clears throat> with ugly people, okay? And I know that you guys are just such class people that you don't drink bad booze because you're watching my reviews for the very best reviews, best best booze, and you certainly don't do the <clears throat> unmentionable with ugly people because, well, you're quality people. I'll catch you next week. Be horrified. Catch ya. Bye.